everyone, my name is Andrew Milliken, and this is Catholic Daily Readings for Monday, July 27, 2020. Please join me as I pray to God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, help us to be faithful to you and to spread your word as best as we can. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, Go buy yourself a linen loincloth, wear it on your loins, but do not put it in water. I bought the loincloth as the Lord commanded and put it on. A second time the word of the Lord came to me thus, Take the loincloth which you bought and are wearing, and go now to the parath. There hide it in a cleft of the rock. Obedient to the Lord's command, I went to the parath and buried the loincloth. After a long interval, the Lord said to me, Go now to the parath and fetch the loincloth, which I told you to hide there. Again, I went to the parath, sought out, and took the loincloth from the place, from the place where I had hid it. But it was rotted, good for nothing. Then the message came to me from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, So also I will allow the pride of Judah to rot, the great pride of Jerusalem, this wicked people who refuse to obey my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their hearts and follow strange gods to serve and adore them, shall be like this loincloth which is good for nothing. For as close as a loincloth clings to a man's loins, so had I made the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, to be my people, my renown, my praise, my beauty. But they did not listen. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, please respond. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger towards his son, sons and daughters. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said and see what will become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people. With a foolish nation, I will anger them. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that way that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds, yet when full-grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We once again hear about parables. Jesus talks in parables so that we understand what has not been understood such as the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, seemingly small and without value, but if you trust and you feed and you nourish it, it will grow into a large plant, but it doesn't do this itself. We need to feed and nourish it. 
A lot of people get discouraged by this, thinking that is too much work or it isn't possible, but I say anything is possible with God. We just have to believe, but not only to believe, but to put that faith into action. Some people don't want to believe, or some people want to believe, but don't want to put their faith into action. But if you truly do want to go to heaven, you will do you will do both because like explained in yesterday's gospel, heaven is worth everything that you have. We want to see God and to do so we must understand this. Thank you for listening to my meditation for today. Please like and subscribe and listen in for tomorrow's meditation. I'm Andrew Milliken saying remember to live life in Christ together.